right, so you're considering making a move to Tampa, Florida, and you're wondering what the best neighborhoods in Tampa are. Well, today I'm going to take you on a tour of one of the top five, according to niche.com, which is Hyde Park. Um, and we are just just on the bay here in Tampa, Florida. And this place is incredible. Right now I'm in historic Hyde Park at what, what's known as Hyde Park Village, which is um, it, you know, it's a wonderful outdoor shopping area. There's dining all over the place. I just had lunch at Goody Goody, which is a beautiful Art Deco diner. Um, absolutely incredible. The service is wonderful. Um, you've got Nike outlets. There's a Timpano on the corner over here, but it's just one of those spots where you come and everybody congregates, you know. Um, it's right off of Swan Avenue. There's a beautiful restaurant called On Swan um, down the street there, which is super highly rated, you know, in the top three recommended in the area for sure. Lululemon, everything you need is down in this area here. And this is only one of, you know, basically three major shopping areas um, in Hyde Park specifically in Hyde Park Village and you know there's a little bit of a difference and we're going to distinguish those today there's North Hyde Park and then you've got historic Hyde Park where we are right now and again it's right on the bay um, you're gonna find it. it's absolutely stunning uh, I'll show you some of the real estate down there today because you won't be disappointed when you see it um, it is absolutely incredible and you know right now I'm taking you down to the village circle here uh, in Hyde Park Village and you'll see behind me you know we've got some Christmas stuff set up it's a beautiful day to hear but lots of shopping lots to do and we're gonna take you all around the town today um, showing you you know one of Tampa's best this is a gem um, you know people talk about it all the time you know it's literally minutes from downtown you know cross it over the bay you're right on Davis Islands you're right down by Amlay Arena right by the financial district if you want to be downtown just minutes away you know, and what is amazing here is you can come down here, come to the, you know, the market. There's a, a beautiful uh, meat market down here, all these boutique shops. And then it's just a great place for people to come. The art galleries, um, if you need it, it's here in Tampa and you're going to find it inside of Hart, uh, High Park specifically. So as you can see behind me here, we got the beautiful fountain. This is a point of interest that people will kind of note. Um, and it's definitely worth the trip. It's definitely worth to come find out what High Park has to offer and the shopping here y'all I'm telling you right now if you like to shop this is going to be your jam and if you're in the old historic real estate this is also going to be your jam there's so many beautiful craftsman style homes um, that were built you know in the late 30s to, to the 50s and um, we're going to show you around today and I think that you're going to be very very um, uh, impressed with the quality of the real estate here so And hey, thanks for joining us. If you've never been to this channel before, we make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. My name is Juan Alcala. I'm a team leader with the True Living Group at EXP Realty. We help people just like you relocate and move from all over the country to the Tampa Bay area. You can call, text, email. You can even direct message me. However, you got to get hold of me when it comes to that relocation or investing in the Tampa Bay area. Just know that we got your back. One of the things that I think you'll notice right away when you get to Hyde Park is the mix of people that you have here. You know, there are a lot of young professionals in the area here. There are a lot of families in the area here. There are a lot of retirees in the area here as well. And it just lends itself to 
one of those really inviting warm communities you know obviously there's all the things to do that we're discussing and covering today but more importantly who are you surrounding yourself with you know a lot of the times when we're looking to move you know the house is the thing but the community is really what you're looking for that lifestyle is what you're trying to accomplish and i think you'll find that high park is going to have that and more to offer All right, y'all, so here we are. We're out on Bayshore Boulevard and we are walking the trail here. And as you just saw, you know, there's this little fitness center there where you can come and do some outdoor workouts. But the real, the real draw here, y'all, is, you know, we're walking on the bay. You know, this is all of Tampa Bay has to offer sitting right in front of you here, you know, High Park, Soho area. And for those of you that are, you know, not from the area, Soho is South Howard, right? <laughs> so when you're getting off the highway and you're coming down, you're in North Hyde Park to start with, and then you end up in uh, historic uh, Hyde Park specifically, which is where we have all this beautiful, gorgeous, turn of the century real estate that I absolutely love sharing with you guys. And, and you know, this is your backdrop every single day, y'all. And you get to watch the sun come up over here and then it sets to the, to the west. But just some beautiful, beautiful area to come enjoy, soak up. And right across the waterway here, hopefully you guys can see me. We've got some, some egrets and some pelicans out here. But right across the waterway here is Davis Island. And that is another one of the top five neighborhoods that, that you're going to experience. And Davis Islands, um, which is now one island which is the thing that throws you off if you're not from here um, there's a gentleman by the name of davis who combined the two islands and made them one island this is where a lot of the super high and luxury real estate is going to be in tampa specifically along with hyde park so just to give you some perspective on what you should find in the area and what you're looking for and when you look at davis island there specifically that is just south of downtown tampa so as you head north here you're going to cross over you are in the stadium district where you're going to find amlay arena um, and everything to do there and then as you come up the waterway here you're going to find your way up to high park and then into tampa as you cross over into west All right, y'all, so we are about to visit Anderson Park, but before we do that, I just wanted to give you guys some sense of what the real estate actually looks like in the area here. And this home directly behind us is a great example of what you're gonna find in the area. These gorgeous old craftsman style homes that were built at the turn of the century. 
early 1900s. I mean, some of these things are just so beautiful to, just to look at, right? And you also will find, you know, some contemporary homes here as well, um, where maybe the, you know, the home just wasn't in the best shape. They came down, tore it down, and then put a brand new house on it. Um, there are some historical preservation societies in the area that, you know, obviously protect, you know, the historical districts, but, you know, this area in general, this is a lot of the type of real estate you're gonna find. And one of the things I know I mentioned earlier is, you know, the price points in here are, they're definitely on the upper end and, you know, they're going to be considered luxury for the most part. But the big thing to take note of is not a lot of people move out of the area. You know, if you were to look today, you're not going to find a tremendous amount of homes available, even from $1 million to $10 million range, which are completely in the normal range here. Um, they just don't exist. They're not for sale because when people come here, they tend to not leave um, because the area is gorgeous. It's stunning. And as you can see behind me, you know, these properties are beautiful. You've got the old growth, you know, oak trees in the area. You've got the beautiful mix of palm trees. And, you know, it's a really well-kept, desirable area to live. And, you know, if you're you're considering making that jump to Tampa like take a look at Hyde Park you know again we're gonna take the tour I'm gonna take you guys in the top five cities and we're gonna range all over the place y'all so I know you know today we might be in the higher end price point and that may not be for you but as you know, we do things in the 400,000s. We've done a uh, home tour in Seminole for 400K. Um, we're gonna get into Wesley Chapel, which is another one of the top five. We've done Riverview in the past. You know, we've done uh, more than a few different areas in terms of price ranges, you know, going from all the way in the low 300s up into the high, you know, tens of millions, um, as you guys are well aware. But just keep following the channel because we're gonna continue to come out, um, check out properties just like this, check out areas, and really explore and discover what Tampa has to offer that's what we're all about here at living in tampa i hope that helps you guys and uh now i want to do next is take you guys to anderson park we're probably going to hit hyde park today as well because it is hyde park and why wouldn't you um, i think it's another great opportunity to kind of share that experience with you guys as well so on to the park all right so now we're in beautiful anderson park which I don't know about y'all, but I didn't grow up in parks that look like this, so it's beautiful. And um, I'm standing on this gorgeous basketball court right now. Um, there are actually two courts that are available to you. You've got the swing set. Um, there is an entire kids play area behind us here as well. Um, there are some children, so I want to be mindful of that. Uh, great picnic seating area under these old growth oaks, which are just absolutely stunning. Um, and you know, it's just a great, community park it's completely gated um you know surrounded by nothing but beauty and you know all of the homes in the area here as we've discussed and i just walked you through the neighborhood man what a cool place to set up shop you know again whether you're a young professional uh you, you know a family or you know you're a retiree this place is incredible and you know if you're considering investing or buying a second home in the area there's a lot of second home ownership as well and for good reason right this is a great place it's ridiculously convenient in terms of tampa you know um, you got university of tampa right by here i mean with well, literally within a couple miles um, you've got you know tampa general hospital downtown tampa you know you're within 20 minutes of downtown st pete roughly 25 minutes of downtown st pete um, and just so much to offer in the area here and um, i just love sharing this stuff with you guys so Well, I hope you had as much fun today as I did touring Hyde Park. And as always, if you've got any cities you'd like reviewed in the Tampa Bay area, please feel free to put a comment below. I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Also, if you're considering relocating, investing, or purchasing a home in the Tampa Bay area, my team at the True Living Group over at eXp would be more than happy to serve you. My contact information is linked down below in the description. You can get hold of me, whether it's calling, text message, email. Heck, you can even direct message me on Instagram. Also, my calendar is linked below.
below as well so you can schedule a time that's most convenient for you. However you gotta get hold of us when it comes to making that move to the Tampa Bay area, we've got your back. And until next time, go out, live that Tampa life. We'll see you in the next video.